What up, dogs? It is Finn, the original gangsta of FM playing in the house. <laughs> what? Let's 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 go through this snowy passage. What looks kind of suspicious because does it lead out front as the other one does, or does it lead directly inside in a crazy and different way? I don't know, but I'm supposed to look out for an onku, so. I'm looking out for an onku. But instead, I just hear a regular drunk guy who isn't really spooky at all. Well... <laughs> a wee drop of wino, please. Just a little drop to give me the heart to work. He's <laughs> halfway on his head. Whatever, it's it's kind of creepy that it's... I just love... I just love the... I love the trip. And the timing for tapping fraps on and off is different now, so I've cut off more than usual. It's pretty great. I guess he's a ghost. Yeah. I love that they take regular guys from the real world and put them in weird different situations. In 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 the other world that sort of correlate to the originals, but sort of don't. And, uh, I, that's a thing I like. This, this room's tidy. All these rooms are tidy. I guess Emily does not like that mess. Man, these are like the new dummies. They're like the nouveau modern... modern... Dummies. Um. Because cause they kind of just stare at you weirdly from places that used to be adorable, but, but now are not. Now, there seems to be trees inside, which I heartily disapprove of. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Forest bed is on fire. I'm not sure how that correlates to anything. The guy sleeping on the floor instead of a bed, that's obviously supremely trippy, and I very much approve of that change. Yeah. Such a, such a cool mission. Just awesome, awesome look everywhere, and just weird things happening. Trees inside. Spooky versions of alternate worlds. Yes! It's like I just realized how good it is. Oh! Whoa, somebody's walking on some grassy grass. <laughs> it's like, my parents will never be expecting a snowball indoors. I'll see you in your room. Just quoting Calvin and Hobbes for no reason. Isn't no thing. It's, just, it's automatically funny. I like these snow-covered plants, you know. Snow and thief is always kind of cool looking to me. I'm not gonna go upstairs because I'm gonna do my regular method of just exploring the bottom floor first. I love to explore bottoms. That's really creepy. What? Go away. Go. Go away. <laughs> These are just normal pictures, so it's not that weird. It's like Constantine's Manor, but not exactly like it. That statue is tilted to the side to signify that all people who expose their bosom shall be punished by having an effigy of them slightly tilted over. It's horrible! And the punishment is a fitting one for the crime of indecency in a not-at-all-public place. It's uh, pretty reasonable. Well, I can't wait to see what's gonna be in the room that I... Something skipped. I don't like it. I don't like it! Tuh! Yes, the room that I woke up in. Whoa. Oh crap, it's like the ghost of a guy instead of a girl. I wonder who the heck he's supposed to <laughs> even be, but... <laughs> His flowers are still there in the mirror. Actually, that's a really cool looking mirror. Like, who's that? kind of ruins the illusion Please if you do that, games. but... <laughs> nice voice for a pirate. <laughs> but oh, from here, it's like, that looks pretty again. convincing, presuming you haven't mm -hmm. taken the flowers yet, and presuming he doesn't do a motion that his mirror self doesn't do. But hey, you know, thief, what can you do? Almost nothing! Ever. No. You know, it's funny, because the mission, uh, Lord Fishkill's Curse, apparently, if you go down the street at some point, apparently there's some crazy scripting to make AIs do things that they normally don't do. So I wonder why people don't do that more often, if it's as crazy as I hear, I don't know, but these flowers were mentioned in a clue, so I have to give Lady Louison, which I guess is the maid, these flowers, but then somebody's gonna see me. Oh yes, I have to put them here. <laughs> you know, Thief's inventory is classic and all, but sometimes it just takes forever. Not really in the bowl, but okay.
All right. You give a lady flowers, she gives you the key to her heart. Well, looks like there's a note here, so I'm probably supposed to get here somehow. I don't know if I'm cared about. That's the problem. I want to know that I'm cared about. Poor disappointed Louis. Yeah. Oh, that's so in case I didn't grab the clue earlier, it's here. That's some nice design that's nice to the player. Giving them a chance and, you know, looks of that. so forth. Well, there's no one to spy, but there's a backwards dresser for, like, freaking no reason. Mm. <laughs> you know, just kind of there. Why my sudden interest in ghosting? Well, I guess in this particular instance, I just kind of find it to be fun. There's not really any explanation for what I do. It's just kind of, yeah, I need some wine for, for, uh... Oh, these guys don't care about me. Well, good. <laughs> Fireplace warms the body, but only a gift. Yeah. I need some wine for that guy. But now I don't remember where I'm supposed to get it. I mean, one would almost think. <laughs> okay, so if wine isn't here in the dining room slash kitchen, which is super cheap, it must be upstairs, I guess. A perfect position. Wow, you can tell he's a ghost because he walks right through those pillars. It's intentional. Well, uh, probably. <laughs> in case you catch him in the act, it ends up looking pretty cool. Which is always what happens when you catch people. Pull in any act. They're just like, yeah. I am a badass temptation obeyer. Oh yeah. I'm a gangster. So a grubber is someone who goes down to the sewer looking for coins. It's an amazing job. I'll tell you what. It is Louison who has the key. Yes, well. Hello. Show yourself. <laughs> Dancing doll. It's amazing. D do drop, I should say. Not just any doll. But yes. The key from Louison. This mission would be totally unfrustrating. Like, s not sarcastically. Seriously, because of all the... The redundant clues and, and stuff that it gives you just where you need them. If if I was stuck, I would be like, Louison has the key. And I'd be like, okay. And my phone cares so much about it being charged that it can't help but blare at screen like, I'm finished charging! Instead of just shutting up. It's great. Hey, wait. There, uh, there. I am aware, of course, that there, irrelevantly, the clock should be against the wall. That, that there has been this, uh, Hammerite Imperium 2, like, skeletal, unfinished cathedral thing mission that's been released, apparently with permission of Alexius on the forums. But I don't think I'm really going to show it because that feels a little weird because there's not really any gameplay and it's meant for people to, you know, uh, do something with or finish or whatever. So it feels a little, you know, like I should just keep my grubby mitts off of it. Even to show it, but maybe I'm wrong. Just in case somebody points it out, preempted. But I have stupid reasons for not doing things all the freaking time. Wow, this, this is one room that's actually kind of worse than. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's grittier than the real world. Instead of a chair, it's an Iron Maiden. Instead of a nothing, it's another type of torture device that isn't an Iron Maiden. But I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Anyway, stupid reasons for not doing things all the freaking time. Uh, for instance, I kind of want to play Psychonauts, like, I mean, sort of, but then I was like, no, I won't play Psychonauts because everybody's played that and it's kind of irrelevant. But, you know, hey, maybe I should just to be different because it's great to be different. <laughs> Hammer door, for some freaking reason. Emily is fully aware of hammers, but I don't know if I want to go in there, because... Because this side, in in the... Oh, hey, it's, it's a thing. In the uh, non-creepy version of this world, is kind of the first side to go to, so I figured maybe I should go to the first first. Hall of the Howling Statues! Among all these hostile blocks of stone, only the mute sacrifice will open the way. Really? Well, we got those sun god-looking faces. I approve of that. It looks like they're kind of... Asymmetrical, a bunch. I'm sure that means absolutely nothing. It's no that to me, God, God. We have an intruder. Yeah. Shall smite me. 
And this time, there's nothing in this room. Hey, the doll's following me. <laughs> yeah, it's been following me all this time. <laughs> A little dancing doll. Do, 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 do. What? Is there someone there? Crap, what? Holy, holy hell. <laughs> now the doll in the normal world has become a big old scarecrow, but these rooms tend to have nothing important in them if they had something important before. <sighs> anyway, speaking of psychonauts, uh, it's because I should not talk about the game I'm playing. I tried playing the Steam version the other day and got stuck at the flagpole on uh, that basic braining mission. The flag would not go to the top. And I looked it up, and people were just arrogantly saying, you're not doing it right. No, you climb the pole, and it goes to the top. That's how it's always been. But this time, I spent like an hour on the pole, and it didn't do anything except for attract a bunch of gawking, drooling guys. But hey. So if I did play Psychonauts, I'd play the original version, also to show that the meat circus is not even close to as hard as people make it out to be. Uh, at least not on your second or third play, but yeah. yeah. You can all watch me eat my words when I realize that let's playing is way harder than casually playing. That's if I do it. I need to have a constant stream of tons of LP videos so that I can get those views or freaking something. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this is just weird stuff. I mean, it's cool looking, but it's not really center PC. So, until I see a center. <laughs> Emily was like, hmm, there are too many nude statues. You know where these freaking nude statues belong? In a bath! Because that is at least a respectable place to be nude. Yeah, it's a hilarious, ho poetic, Socratic, Aristotelic, you know, Nietzsche justice somehow. Uh, I don't even care about moss arrows, but yet I'm... Going into the bath with this stone lady. Yeah, that's right. I'm that desperate. Hey there, silly little hopping doll that's awesome. That was another stutter. Why should this stutter? I've got hardware that's like the beef of all time here. That guy's still got some toilet paper. But he's not needing to go to the bathroom with it. Convenient. Okay, so there's... There's this, which of course leads nowhere because this hallway leads back to the other building and we didn't see hmm, anything well, there. If only I could maneuver myself Who's enough that? to Is put up... Is that thou, friend? Oh, he's blocking it. Damn. <gasps> nah. Is this anything on the savory? <laughs> the a noise. I'm as sure of it as no, the builders not themselves. quite as dark as the other room, but... Oh, well, at least these doors are still intact, despite having given rise to an unnatural bush of shrubs. I've got nine or ten moss arrows. Should use them. Won't, because I am morally opposed to moss arrows. Thus, I will make things less convenient for myself for not a particularly good reason. I think I saw a carrot. So the scarecrows are sleeping. One of them sleeping on a a bed thing from ancient Egypt. Oh, they both are. Uh, I guess this guard's having a dangerous liaison with his lady friend while standing on a box. Because that's what you do in movies to make him look taller. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah. I want to get over there. What was that? Because there's loot over there even though I don't need it at all. But I want it. And you should get all the money you want if you want it. There's... Nothing stopping you but your own imagination, man. Oh, there they go seconding, but fair. Not a full ghost. I'm sure I've knocked out two or three types around here. Uh oh. <clears throat> oh, good. <clears throat> right, so. Let's go through this very strange door. I don't think there have been any hammers so far whatsoever in the original mission. <laughs> His head is bent horribly. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. Um, I guess these walls might be wood? Question mark? Because... No. No, they're not. I have to go up. Okay, I got the key up here. Hang on, I probably have to get a bottle of wine from somewhere around here. Probably in one of these 
kitchen like room? God damn it. This is why I don't ghost all the time because sometimes, you know, you've you've gone through some place already and you just feel like you've paid your dues already, but you still have to just wait for guys. And sometimes it's okay waiting for them if it's your first time in an area because it's new and, you know, okay, cool. But when you have to do it over and over, to me, the point of ghosting is that it's a fun challenge. But sometimes it isn't a challenge. Sometimes it's just tedious. So that's why I sometimes don't do it. And also why I sometimes do do it if the situation's interesting, like that trap room. Okay, so let's... God, they just loop and loop and loop. There's there's kitchen, there's a dining room, There's there's gotta be... There's gotta be a way. Okay, well, there doesn't seem to be any bottles in here. Just a chimney. I mean, this is just a guess, because I actually don't remember, which is good, because if I remember too much, it's just like... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's an X in the ceiling. But what does it mean? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Interesting. But... Can I shoot a rope into that? I don't know if you can shoot a rope into moving objects. Oh, you can. Can't shoot them into crates, except if you're in the sun within and the sun without. I guess I should play that. Uh, again, I, I sort of partially played it off camera at one point, but anyways, that's just maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I. <laughs> it's funny, when I remember things, things go quick. But when I don't remember them, I've been so stupid lucky recently. <laughs> They just go just as quick, and, like, I didn't fake that. I I just was looking for, like, a wine bottle, and I saw an X on the ceiling, and, like, <laughs> it wouldn't have been a thing. Okay, I don't think I can lean. I don't know who this guy is supposed to be, though. Was well, head's backwards even? No, it's just kind of weird. Hey, your head's weird. Ah, oh, come on! It's, uh, annoying. Okay, let's put it closer. Let me grab the damn thing. Okay. Tancred's key. That's Tancred, eh? I guess he's dead, so he's circling around the ceiling. That makes a ton of sense. And now I have to find where the other key is, though. Which... Where is it? Well, it looks like it's waste a rope arrow and or get hurt. Inevitably, time. I've got a... Oh! Oh! One of those loot things was not loot. It was a bottle of freaking wine in that room with the with the with the couple there. Well, color me not the guy who pays attention. Ah, four is well more than enough for anything. I can leave that up there. Not very good ghosting form, but there must be some way to avoid getting hurt because the only obstacles. Well, ghost does allow you to take damage if there's no other way. Nobody better be taffing around down here. What? Uh, oh no, but Supreme doesn't. Well, I'll come back to that once I've got the other key. Right, so, heading downstairs here. Oh, what? Oh shit! It's it's that guy I forgot about. It's Anku, which I don't know if that means anything or if it's just a name. Shit, there he is. Let's look at his face. Familiar visage. Well, it's one. Certainly not no... No scanner darkly suit, but hey. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> take what you can get. Yeah, how come I didn't see him before? Maybe he only spawns now, or maybe he's just real sneaky and random or something. But yeah, that guy's freaking weird. He's just like this flaming guy who, as I recall but don't seem to see here, has a skull bouncing behind him. Um. I, I definitely remember a freaking skull bouncing along behind him. I know it sounds silly, but it it should be there. But it isn't. Maybe it became detached from him. I mean, that's possible in this engine, let's face it. Yeah, what? It's annoying if it despawned, because it looks cool and... stuff. Ugh, I hate missing things! Bloody hell, I should use my mosses here at least. I mean, come on! Sure is annoying creep crouch crawling, especially when you don't have to. <sighs> well, because I think there's something you can... Yeah, there it is. It's bouncing along, but it seems to have lost him indeed because... Oh, no, there it is. 
<laughs> it's so freaking weird. But I think you can... Oh, he's got a key. It's an exit key. But you can, like... I'm sure you can kill the skull or something? Yeah, but then you die. So really, it's a frog beast, as is kind of obvious, I guess. But it hops fast, so it's pretty hard to hit. Oh, no! There we go. I, I just freaking killed death. Um... <laughs> Great, where's his key? Damn it! You know what? Freaking jeez! But now I'm gonna turn it off because I'm a stickler for old stuff for freaking some reason. Well, that's how you kill him. It's it's the old uh, heart is outside the body style thing. Uh, so so yeah, it's pretty not that difficult, I guess. But I remember being terrified of that guy the first time I played. So yeah. But now that I've killed death, I actually think I'm going to leave it here for now. And next time, we'll go and see what's the deal with that guy wanting wine and everything. But for now, well, let's try to hide him in the wall so he doesn't make light. Not going to happen. Bye for now.